The sign said Tuscania, 24 kilometers. I was glad this exhaustive trip was finally coming to an end. Eight hours on a plane, sprinting to make the connection in London, then the claustrophobic airport in Rome, not knowing where to go or being certain I was on the right bus. There I was, standing outside the gates of the city. I had decided to spend my last summer of college abroad, so I found this online ad to look after an old man in exchange for free room and board. Felt like by now my journey should be over, but I guess it was only beginning. Yay. Yes. Oh, wow. I'm Francesca Gandhi. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Uh, this is Carlo, who works for Vieta Magazine. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Carlo, per favore, puoi portare le valigie in macchina, così partiamo subito. Appena ho parlato con lei. We must go back to Rome. Uh, I'll show you in your room. Okay. Very safe. Thank you. It is my old room. It's beautiful. <laughs> Please come. Sit. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing to stay here and look after Papa. Thank you. I'm getting to spend the entire summer in Italy. It's such a thrill. <laughs> oh, yes, about Papa. He gets around fine. Uh, all you have to do is uh, be here in case of an emergency. Uh, keep the house net uh, and uh, perhaps fix him a meal every now and then. It will be fun. Uh, you will have plenty of time to see Italy. Okay. Can I meet him now? He's taking his afternoon nap. Uh, um, but he knows you are coming today. So when he wakes up, I'm sure he will uh, come out. Uh, well, here are my phone numbers. 
Call me if you need me. I'm just an hour away and I will try and come back uh, every few weekends. Okay? Ciao. Ciao. No, I just got freshened up. Seriously, this is unbelievable. It's like, I don't know, I'm living a dream or something. <laughs> yeah, and for this whole summer. Mm -mm. No, I haven't met him yet, but it should be a piece of cake. Yeah, in fact, his daughter made it sound like actually fun to be around, so. <laughs> no, she was in a rush to get back to Rome. Oh, I'm sorry. You're just jealous, that's all. It's fucking boring, Texas. Hey, I gotta go. I think Mr. Galley's waking up. Francesca! Francesca! Vieni qui! Uh, hi! E tu chi sei? Um, look, I I'm, I'm sorry, I don't speak Italian. Um, okay. I don't speak Italian. Ho capito, non sono sordo. Well, um, I'm the, uh, didn't Francesca tell you? Si, sí, si, sí, Francesca. Dove? Okay, well, um, look, maybe I should call Francesca and just let her explain it. it Ma cosa vuoi? Chi sei? Perché sei qui? Um, I just, okay. <laughs> I'm going to, um, call Francesca. Ah, se n'è andata. Allora è inutile che la chiami. Yeah. My phone and I'll just... Vai da Vincenzo. Vincenzo, la vineria, vino. Vino. Regalo di venire qui per tradurre. Vino, you want me to get wine? Sì, vino. Vincenzo, okay. digli di venire qui. Vai. Okay. Vai. Yeah, I know what I said, but that was before I met the old man. No, I can't understand him at all. He didn't speak any English. Yeah, so I tried calling, all I got was her machine. Yeah, and it's in Italian. Awesome. I left a message, but I bet you money she never calls back. All right, I gotta go. It's me again. I'm in the wine store picking up wines for the old man. I have no idea what to get. No Napa Valley Chardonnay here. Pinot Grigio? Are you sure? What? They don't have any. White? Okay. Ciao. I gotta call you back. Um, uh, vino, um, white? Bianco. Uh, of course. Um, try this one. Oh, you speak English. Well, just a little. Uh, <laughs> can I help you with uh, anything else? Um, no, this is perfect. I'd just like to buy this wine, please. <laughs> Follow me. Okay. Six euros. <laughs> Have you need um, um, Bustina? Uh, oh, yeah, for you? yes, yes, thank you. Vincenzo. I don't understand. I thought you wanted wine. Ma come posso fartelo capire? Eh? Non ti preoccupare, vieni. È un telefono quello, vero? Yeah, a cell phone. Cosa, cosa stai facendo? Um, text messaging. I can, I can talk using the keypad, see? Uh -huh. Costs a lot less than talking on the phone. Yes. Yes. Roba, tutti con cose. Ciao Vincenzo. Ciao amico mio, come va? Eh, va. È da tempo che non ti vedo. Sono stato male. Francesca è stata qui con il suo giovane innamorato. Sì, l'ho vista, sono venuti a comprare due bottiglie eh, ieri. Vieni. Vieni di là con me, sediti fuori. Qui fa troppo caldo. 
ho del pane e delle salsicce, faremo festa. Ma prima fammi vedere cosa vuole questa ragazza. No, è con me. Con te? Vecchio sporcaccione, potrebbe essere tua nipote. Per favore, magari avessi una nipote, non ho idea di chi sia. L'ho trovata in camera di Francesca che disfaceva i bagagli. Per favore, fammi da interprete. Sì, certo, ma andiamo di là al sole. Vieni. Vincenzo Murano, I believe uh, we met early, but uh, we are not uh, formally introduced. Haley Bankson, it's, it's nice to meet you. My friend Marco, he, uh, he doesn't speak English. Um, he understands a little, but uh, he cannot speak. And uh, so uh, he asked me to translate for him, okay? Sure. Cosa fa qui? Come è entrata in camera di Francesca? E Francesca dov'è? Quando torna? Uh, Marco vuole sapere cosa what you are doing here. I came to spend the summer. I see. Hai venuto a trascorrere le vacanze a Toscana. A casa mia. E chi l'ha autorizzata? At uh, his house? Well, yes, I was recruited by his daughter to take care of him in exchange for free room and board. Dille che non ho bisogno di aiuto. Mi dispiace che abbia fatto tutto questo viaggio per niente, ma non può rimanere qui. Tutti abbiamo bisogno di aiuto, specialmente da una ragazza così carina. No. Um, he said that uh, he doesn't need uh, any help and that you should go and have a good time seeing Italy for the summer. You mean leave? Yes. No, no, no I, I, can't, I can't do that. Ho capito. Dille che non può rimanere qui. Sì. Uh, why not? Uh, because this was my plan. To stay here in Toscana and just explore the country on the weekends. I can't afford to spend the summer traveling Italy. E non può permettersi di andarsene. Dille di chiamare suo padre, di farsi mandare i soldi. Um, Marco asks uh, if you can call your father and uh, have him send uh, you the money. No, not a chance. He didn't want me to come in the first place. E dille di cambiare il biglietto. Uh, can you change your ticket home? I don't think so. All the flights seem to be booked for the summer. My father was right. I should have never come here. Ad ogni modo, è tardi per fare qualsiasi cosa. Dille di rilassarsi, di calmarsi. Ci pensiamo domani. Um, Marco said uh, not to cry. Um, It's already too late to do anything today. Let's relax and have some wine. This is a red wine um, from the region. Uh, it's uh, Marco's favorite. Perché è l'unico vino degno di essere bevuto. Mi sembri mio padre. Marco and um, my father were best friends uh, growing up. Uh, they played um, together um, with uh, the children. And ti ricordi quando giocavate insieme ai bambini? Eh, Loro ricordo. amavano molto i bambini, erano veramente una bella coppia eh? and um, got married uh, got married uh, within uh, uh, weeks uh, on which um, on which uh, I'm sorry but I um, I don't I, I don't uh, say the, the word um, um, each each other and uh, had me and Francesca uh, in the same years uh, played uh, Boce and uh, drunk wine and date cheese uh, right here uh, for years. And uh, until um, that, uh, until uh, Papa died um, two years ago. Eh, mi manca. Eh, e si vede che ti manca. 
effetti ricordi spesso del, del babbo che loro erano molto amici eh? and, uh, for example I, I, I remember the, the time eh? io mi ricordo il tempo in cui in cui voi eh, volevate andare in America a cantare eh? dopo, dopo aver bevuto il vino mm? eh? I remember the time when uh, when uh, Marco and Papa sat uh, right here and uh, talking uh, about uh, to moving to America to make uh, a fortune uh, singing. Huh? And uh, you said that um, um, they can say, they can pay, um, they can pay Frank Sinatra millions to sing. And how much, how much could the singing uh, hey. uh, like you and the date make? Potevamo, eh? sapevamo cantare io e tuo padre. Sì, dopo qualche bicchiere del vino di mio padre. Amico mio, dobbiamo rivederci presto. Ciao. Ciao. Eli, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thanks, you too. Ciao. 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 Right. He had no idea I was coming. Mm -hmm. We found some guy who can speak English, so that's good. And he told me I can either go home or spend the summer touring Italy. Yeah, I guess he was nice about it, but he told me to call my father. Can you imagine that conversation? <laughs> yeah. Well, right now we are on the way to the church, and he just stopped to sit down. Like, he's just sitting there, staring at a bunch of other people. I don't know. Staring at nothing. <sighs> okay, well, I will call you later. All right. Bye. Buonasera Marco, è da un po' che non ti vedo in chiesa. Eh, non esco più molto, padre. Lo so, Marco. E Francesca, come sta? Ho saputo che era qui alcuni giorni fa. Come al solito. Marco, è tua figlia. La ami e lo sai. Ma vuole portarmi a Roma. A Roma. Ma cosa deve fare un vecchio come me a Roma? Io gliel'ho detto che qui è casa mia e che anche lei dovrebbe tornare e sistemarsi. Ma forse è già troppo tardi per avere figli. Lasciamo stare. E lei? Non è d'accordo? D'accordo. Dice sempre che le dico quello che deve o non deve fare. Tu cosa ne pensi? Io dico quello che ogni padre dice al figlio, a questi giovani. Guarda questa. Si imbottiscono la testa con questa robaccia. Chi è questa ragazza? Una studentessa americana. Francesca l'ha ingaggiata per farmi da babysitter per l'estate. Così non deve farlo lei. Marco, ci vuole molto più di una ragazza per starti dietro. Buonanotte, Marco. E spero di incontrarti in chiesa questa settimana. Prega per me, padre. Marco, pregherò per questa ragazza. Ne avrà molto bisogno per trattare con te. Siediti lì un paio di minuti, ti aspetto. Wow, 
Wow, where did all this come from? L'ha portato la signora Tosi. Mi porta la cena tutti i lunedì. Siediti, che ce la dividiamo. So when we got back from the church, we went to his house, and there was this entire meal set on the table. Like, I'm talking a spread, everything, and I have no idea where it came from. So when I asked him, he said, uh, Hello? Hello? Still home. He doesn't really get out much. Huh. Yeah, but everyone here seems to know him. He must have been someone really important. All right, I gotta go. Stai attenta quando cammini. I am so sorry, I didn't, I didn't see you. È cambiato il volo. Um... Uh, no capisco? Sì, sì. Vieni che ci prendiamo un caffè. Sono prenotate completamente solamente la, la prima classe che costa molto, se può, non si può permettere. Claro. Chiama tuo padre, sono sicuro che ti aiuterà. Se call your father, I should pay for it. No, 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 I, I can't call my father. He would just lecture me and... How did he know I was going to change my flight? Ha detto come fa a sapere che deve cambiare il suo volo. Lo so, lo so, ho le mie risorse. Ti ha sentito un buon esempio. You sound like my dad. Sempre, sempre suo padre. Lo capisco, suo padre. I understand your father, said. Dobbiamo andare. Tutti i martedì la signora Caravaggio mi prepara il pranzo e si offende se non lo mangio caldo. Ciao, ciao, Amy. Ciao, Marco. Ciao. Ah, a 
quanto pare si è sparsa la voce che sei qui. So was he like the mayor of this town? Uh, he was a tailor. He made clothes. That's it? People treat him like he's more important than that. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, he grew up uh, here, and uh, his father grew up here, and um, his grandfather as well, or just uh, the tailor. <coughs> and uh, during the war, and ti ricordi, Marcello? Eh, non avevano i soldi nemmeno per seppellire i figli, le donne, mi ricordo. Um, Marco say um, when they couldn't afford uh, uh, to pay a new suit uh, to Billy, uh, their sons, uh, his father um, made them uh, one anyway. <coughs> they have never forgotten. <laughs> um, what does your father do? Um, he's a corporate lawyer. Uh, of great importance. Uh, I guess. But the only people who've ever brought us food are the cook and my grandmother. Okay, so let me get straight. <coughs> Mrs. Caravaggio is the daughter of your friend Emilio, who used to own the shoe repair store across from your shop. That is correct. Okay. She used it to play in the street <coughs> with uh, her brothers, <coughs> and the one of which is uh, Francesca Sage. Ma che sei dicendo? Sto traducendo. And um, Rodolfo. He, uh, he married uh, the Moretti girl, and uh, they moved to Vitello. Oh, the one who cooked us dinner last night? Mm. Mrs. Signorelli. Who is she? Hey. <laughs> Lei, quando eravamo ragazzi, era innamorata di me. E di un paio d'anni più giovane. Mi guardava sempre quando giocavo a pallone per la strada. Poi ha sposato Giovanni, quello che ha la pasticceria. Me lo ricordo, quello più giovane. Sì. Um, when, um, when he was a boy, he and uh, my father um, played uh, football in the park and uh, mm. she had a crush on Marco. Per <laughs> <laughs> l'amore. <laughs> What are they saying? I can't believe that Marco has been out so much uh, this uh, past week. And um, they say you must be an angel. Well, Marco doesn't seem to think so. He keeps telling me to leave. I told him a thousand times the only seats available are in first class. And, and what is his response? Call your papa. Huh? I'm thinking about it. Caravaggio told me how to make it. It says favorites. I'm sure he'll love it. That would be a first. Anyways, I stopped at the Frutta e Vedura and picked up some fresh pomodoro for the sauce and... What? Listen to you. You'll become Italian. 
Aspetta. And here the perfect compliment. The dinner. Vino rosso della casa. Are you still planning on leaving tomorrow? Yeah, I called my father and he arranged everything. My flight leaves at night. You know, I'll tell you something, Vincenzo. It's funny, I called him expecting the usual lecture. I told you, young lady, it's a stupid idea. And instead, when I hung up, I felt content. I felt like I did when I was a little girl. And he would take me to the park. And he'd pick me up and put me on the slide. And then run around as I came down. Anyways, I gotta go. Ciao, Hilly. I'm sure your dinner will be fantastic. I hope you're right. Ciao, Vincenzo. Forse le dovrei telefonare. You said you haven't had a veal parmigiano since your wife died. So, with the help of the ladies of the town, I made it. Tua madre ne sarebbe fiera. What? Nothing. It smells wonderful. <laughs> oh, grazie. Are you okay? No. What's the matter? How can you say vino rosso? Ci vuole il vino bianco con il vitello. Vincenzo, Vincenzo said this was your favorite wine, vino rosso della casa. Ci vuole il vino bianco col vitello. Go to Vincenzo, go. And to bring some, and, and to bring some vino bianco. I will wait. We'll wait. Ellie, grazie. Oh, drink red wine. Sorry, I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. 